Hello again. This is attempt number three at making this video. First time the memory card corrupted, so I formatted it. Um, then the next time I put it in the computer, it wouldn't read. So I did the most logical thing and went to the store and picked up a new memory card and then also a new camera as well. Seems to make sense. Uh, it has way better white balance, so hopefully from here on out, my videos will look like they weren't recorded from the inside of a garbage bag, even with additional light on most of them. Um, so things are looking up. Um, so today I've been working on the mount for the Melosi engine to go into the Typhoon. Let's take a look at what we got going on here. So the stock mount does hold the um, engine, but the exhaust would not clear it. So, uh, as you can see, ripped the mount out, which mounts normally here, and I did have footage of that, but it is all gone. Then we have the stock mount here. Well, half of the stock mount anyway. Um, so normally there was one half of a piece mounted here and a tube that went across in between, but that interfered with the exhaust, so I couldn't actually get the exhaust on there. Uh, so I had these cut out on a, um, on a water jet, and uh, yeah, so now what we're going to do is weld those onto the existing tube. I had to push the old bushings out here on here, which is a little fun. Again, I had video of that, and it is also gone. And uh, then I had a, so I already welded one of these up and I must have bumped the legs before I final welded it because I got it together and tried to put it back on and I had a different method of holding them all together too. I actually had this here bolt run through all of them, which probably wasn't the right idea. So I ended up cutting them all off except for my alignment one, which I welded on right here. And um, my new method now is I have put this parallel bar onto the um, tops of them and then sandwiched it onto the, that so that it should be running fairly flat to that. And then I have checked the alignment of everything. This clamp is just holding everything square. So now I can tack the tops and the bottoms and hope maybe even get a tack on the sides as well. So cliff notes on the whole thing is, I had a bunch of footage, fucked this up once, and here we are. So now I'm just going to weld this up. And, uh,
So this is my this is my last setup here. Uh, just going to weld these spare ones that I have uh, in on top and box them in basically, just so that it's slightly more rigid and won't fold over. So part in the poor welds, but uh, again, just, uh, I did hit some paint down in this area here, but even still, just a little bit, just a little bit dirty. But I didn't put a lot of effort into cleaning it either. Um, yeah, that's that's it. Uh, I may add another brace on the top side, but we'll see. I think this will probably be plenty strong now that it's somewhat boxed. I just have to trim the edges up here with the, the sanding disc and uh, I just put another little bit of bead up there at the top. But it's ready for paint and throwing on the bike. So this is one of those projects that I thought would be really easy and somehow managed to completely frig it up and then had to redo it. But it turned out pretty okay. Gonna throw some some paint on it and uh, put the motor back in this bike and get it back to being a roller and then I can also finalize a bunch of other stuff because I've been waiting to do this before I could do anything else. So hopefully the next couple of videos will be about the Typhoon and uh, we will see some progress on this. Uh, I have to make a couple of things for the boys at scootertuning.ca so uh yeah i have to kind of get my butt going on this i have the things made but uh, i have to test them so yeah it's, uh, so i'm just gonna give this a quick coat of paint and then install this motor mount is in. I have to tighten up all the bolts with the bike at ride height. It's kind of typical for suspension stuff. You always want to have it everything snugged up at the position it's going to be in when the bike is on the ground. But it's 
nice and centered in there. Everything mm -hmm. looks good. But I think that that's it for this episode. Uh, I think I'm going to try and get working on this again tomorrow night. So I might have another video up tomorrow. Um, going to be bolting this in permanently and putting it on the floor and doing a bunch of little stuff like that. Getting some, getting it on the ground, getting all the suspension snugged up, putting a bunch of the panels back on now that I'm done with the wiring. And uh, yeah, getting this thing ready to flash up. So until next time, take care.